When looking at any long-lasting series or television show, it's understandable to find yourself at a loss when trying to figure out exactly how to approach it. Sure, in your mind, the logical thing to do would probably be to start the series way back at the beginning and then just kind of go forward from there, but then you might find yourself realizing, actually, this may not be so good in the beginning. I mean, just look at most YouTube channels that have become popular throughout the years, okay? If you go back to their first video, it's definitely nowhere near as good as their more recent content, and that's no exception for universe modes and wrestling-based creators. And with my own personal universe mode lasting for almost three full years, I think it's safe to say that starting the entire series from the first episode may seem like an absolutely daunting task. And with new people joining every single day, thank you for that by the way, I can understand why finding out exactly where to begin may be a very difficult task for you. And well, I'm just going to answer the question now, right, right now. I believe that the best point to start my universe mode, currently at least, is 2K19's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Not the Royal Rumble pay-per-view like I have kind of claimed before. I kind of went back and watched that and thought, eh, it doesn't really start picking up until the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view after it, so Elimination Chamber in 2K19. But why 2K19's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view specifically? Why not start at the beginning? What's happening at that chamber pay-per-view exclusively that makes this interesting? To kick this whole conversation off, let me start by saying exactly the differences between the evolutionary years of 2K18, 2K19, and 2K20. So with 2K18, I'm not gonna lie, I openly bury that stuff for a reason, okay? If I were you, I wouldn't even just watch the 2K18 series. Sure, I may allude to some things that happened in 2K18, more specifically in its WrestleMania event, just because that was a very important pillar in the storytelling. However, when it comes to the actual content, 2K18 was just downright terrible. I mean, for starters, 2K18 was completely different in terms of its format and presentation. As I've created universe mode content over the years, I have completely changed inspirations and in my opinion for the better because in the beginning I would say that my inspiration was more from Goran Perkins for instance no shame to them however Goran Perkins have mastered that kind of universe mode content where it was more like a let's play with some commentary underneath it than I would ever ever get to master okay they have found a balance in which they're actually playing the game while simultaneously putting on these stories that, truthfully, is absolutely masterclass to them. Okay, bravo to them. However, I kind of try to do that by myself, and let's just say I was a horrific, horrific commentator and Let's Player at the same time, and I try to be two things that I wasn't particularly good at, and it just boiled into this, into this collage of absolute garbage. <laughs> And so 2K18 was kind of just me sort of starting out, trying to figure out exactly what to do, how I wanted to present this as a series, and truth be told, just kind of going through the ringers of figuring out exactly what to do, how do I do this certain thing, how do I, you know, record the gameplay, kind of talk my way over it, exactly what am I doing wrong, and how can I sort of fix that for the future. But then we jump to 2K19 where those aspects of me trying to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do in terms of if I'm trying to make a show or a let's play definitely sort of morphed throughout the year. Okay, early 2K19 I will admit was very much like 2K18. Sure, the commentary and let's play may have been a little bit better just because I've done it for like a year at that point. However, I was still kind of trying to find my footing, trying to figure out exactly what to do. How do I do these certain things? Do I want to present this like a Let's Play? Do I want to present it like a show? And it kept morphing into me trying to put the format of a wrestling show into a video game and openly acknowledging the fact that it's a video game and it just wasn't good. And throughout the course of the series, my inspirations definitely changed. Okay, I went from Goran Perkins, who created a completely different style of content to most Universe Mode creators that have become popular within the community, to guys like Murphs. I started watching around, you know, the end of 2K19 or halfway through 2K19, and I started watching them and thinking, wow, they put on these epic shows. I want to do something like that. I want to somehow do something interesting like that and commentate it and try to figure out exactly how 
I can morph my show into something like that. So I started kind of doing that with the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, sort of kicking off this new era of my universe mode where I sort of produced it like a show. However, my commentary was still lacking a bit. I mean, sure, I wasn't particularly calling out any finishers or health bars in the game from each competitor. However, I was definitely changing the presentation of it. For instance, if you go back, you can see now that I definitely try to hide the fact that it's a game, okay? I don't particularly have finishers or health bars. That's the real massive turn at the Royal Rumble is when I completely decide to change the presentation of the show visually. However, with the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, my commentary still wasn't good yet. I was still kind of trying to figure out exactly what I was doing. However, apparently I'm a very quick learner because somewhere around Elimination Chamber, I just clicked, okay? I figured out my enthusiasm. I figured out kind of how to start morphing a voice for myself and how to commentate the matches and as such with 2k19's elimination chamber pay-per-view that is when i would say to start the show or start the series because well that's when my commentary started kind of picking up also at that elimination chamber pay-per-view there's a lot of interesting stories that have been told through that pay-per-view leading in to wrestlemania okay the return of john moxley well dean ambrose then john moxley We've got the Finn Balor situation now fully in gear after Survivor Series with the club and the Universal title or World Heavyweight title at that time. We've got, of course, the Elimination Chamber matches, which are always seemingly exciting. We've got the WWE title. We've got Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano's story. We've got all of these stories that are really sort of building at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view and... It just leads into WrestleMania, which personally, in my opinion, was the biggest game changer for my series. Now, sure, Elimination Chamber the month prior was where I really started forming this idea and concoction of turning my Let's Play into a show with my own commentary. WrestleMania, however, the month after was definitely the show where I fully realized my potential. I mean, sure, maybe I was still reading the promos by WrestleMania time in 2K19, however, that completely changed in 2K20, because with 2K20's first episode, I definitely tried to change the overall structure of the show, okay? It went from 20 minutes of maybe two matches and a promo, to now it just ramped up in terms of production value, and in length, and in just overall storytelling, okay? Instead of going from two matches in a promo, it went from that to like four matches to three promos. But still, at this point in time, 2K19's Royal Rumble pay-per-view, that was when I was trying to figure out exactly what I was doing. Elimination Chamber is when I really had it down and trying to figure out, okay, this is what I'm doing. I am officially changing my series for the better. 2K19's WrestleMania, that is when I culminate all of the stories from the past few years, and that is when I feel as though I have completely put my foot down as, okay, this is how the series is changing, this is what I'm doing. So yeah, with 2K20 finally becoming a show, and that transformation really starting at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, that is when I would say someone should join the show, or at least start watching from there, and I understand that, you know, 2K19's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view still may seem like a daunting task, so if you want to just go straight to when I have kind of mastered and figured out what I'm going to do, I would just start at WrestleMania 2K19, but if you want to kind of get the stories in the series, then I would highly recommend you go to Elimination Chamber. So yeah, that's where I believe you should start my WWE 2K Universe Mode series. If you guys like the video, please let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything you want to comment, subscribe if you haven't already, but if you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on Grapple Nation. My name is Dominic, and have a good day.